What's up, everybody? It is Matt from Electric All Wheel. We are here with the NACTO OEC 48 volt, 500 watt rear hub with a 20 by 4 fat tire. It has a 48 volt, 12 and a half amp hour battery. You know what it is. We have the Electric All Wheel dual battery discharge balancer kit. And we also have our handy dandy 48 volt, 10 amp hour battery that we utilize in most all of our accessory builds. Keep in mind that if you're adding dual battery, you do not get limited to the 10 amp hours. You can have any amp hour combination you want with your existing battery. Just make sure that the voltage rating is correct. This battery, it's 48 volts to match the voltage rating for the NACTO OX 20 by four fat tire e-bike. This is a folding e-bike. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this installed. We anticipate and internal install but if it's not possible we're going to go ahead and do an external run with an extra set of cables we'll likely just hook this up on the rear rack for demo purposes so that you the purchaser can make your decision about which battery you like we also think this might be a good layout for it as well but the straps are going to need to be placed perfectly and the battery butts right up to the seat post tube so Keep that in mind if you're after it. If you're in the Tampa Bay area, check out the Facebook group, E-Bikes of Tampa Bay, Florida. Get in there, make an event, and ride out with your e-bike friends in Tampa Bay, Florida. YouTube is our primary, so please give us a like and subscribe. Here we go. All right, looks like bullet connectors are the flavor of the day. So I'm gonna take my kit and then in it, it's going to be the setup for the uh, adapters and I'm gonna take these, which are my bullet adapters and then utilize that and go ahead and get everything hooked up. So here's my battery. There's my controller out. Looks like this thing has been separated a little bit, so I'm gonna give this bullet a squeeze. That should do that. Perfect. And then I have, like from the factory, it looks like there's a little bit of exposure here, so I'm gonna give it a little bit of electrical tape.
And then for this, since the hole is actually in the middle of this compartment, I'm gonna feed this around on the back side when I get it in there. But first I need to run my cable for my extra battery up through the middle. And I'll go ahead and connect that to my balancer. And then I'm gonna sit this in the back side of the compartment. And that sits there. And then the rest of the wiring just goes back in the way it came out. All right, now we have our extra battery cable. We'll go ahead and kind of run this up through the frame. And then so I'm gonna well, I'm brought it up through the frame and I'm gonna bring it up here. I'm gonna plug in my extras. And then I'm gonna set my battery down. I'll go ahead and give it a strap. There we go. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hook this up. Turn that battery off. And then I'm gonna check for power. There we go. We know that works, that's good. Now I'm just gonna take and unplug it here. So the second battery is not hooked up. So the second battery is not hooked up. I am turning the switch for the factory battery on. You can see that this isn't hooked up, it's loose here. And there we go. We have power. So now I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in again. And there you have it. With these, I would just go ahead and make sure and tie, if you do this placement, which I doubt you will, you might wanna have a more secure area, perhaps here, um, or a bigger battery that's sitting on the back, a flat rack or in a basket. Either way, just make sure and secure your cables so that you're good to go. All right, there we have it. We have successfully added another 10 amp hour, 48 volt battery to this 500 watt rear hub NACTO. Now, this battery was 12 amp hours and we added 10. So 12 plus 10 equals 22. And then we'll multiply that by 48. 22 times 48 equals 1056. We'll take the mica toll constant, which is 25 watt hours, per mile at 20 miles per hour and divide that by 25. And we get a sum total of 42 miles at 20 miles an hour that this bike is gonna carry you. That's a, a soft range either way. As a bigger guy, I know that's gonna be a little bit less, but it gives you a good idea of what you can expect when you do a dual battery edition. If you haven't already, give us a like and subscribe. Check out our Facebook, Instagram, electricallwheel.com. We have a Threads account, we're working. We also have a TikTok account, which we are thinking about splitting some of our videos off and doing some more instructional videos in the upright video fashion, like what you see on your shorts reels, TikTok, and Instagram reels. We try and let YouTube be our primary and we load up our shorts for teasers. We cross those over to TikTok and then get them on Instagram as reels. We put them on our Facebook page. If you haven't already, check out eBikes of Tampa Bay, Florida. Get in there, make an event and ride out with your friends if you are local to the Tampa Bay area. 
and you can check out our store. We're gonna load everything you need in the description below for all the links to the products, the uh, electric all wheel store, as well as the batteries from Amazon, which is the recommended 48 volt 10 amp hour battery, which is not required. Keep that in mind. You can have any amp hour battery that you want. Just make sure that the voltage rating matches. We will talk to you next time.